What's up, Cinephiles? For today's episode, we are going to review an original series from I Want TV. It's called The Tapes. This is created by Dodo Dayao and Bradley Yu. Okay, so The Tapes is set in the mountainous regions somewhere in the Philippines. And it's about two cops, Sonny Cruz, played by Sam Milby, and Alice Lagaak played by Yasi Pressman. Bigla silang nakatanggap ng mga mysterious tapes about sa isang nawawalang college student na si Judith Evangelista. She's been missing for three years and this is a cold case and they are going to try and well solve this. Sino ba nagpapadala ng tapes na to? Ano bang nangyari kay Judith Evangelista? This is a six episode series. Uh, it's about half an hour each. And Kevin, what can you say about this series? Uh, you know what? The first time I saw this trailer, diba, I really urge you, bro, we really need to see this because really the filmmaking here, it's like an elevated form of series Now I hope more of our shows here will catch up to that level of quality. So in a technical aspect, it's really an amazing mystery thriller the way they crafted this. And it's very evident in the direction of Bradley Yu that this film has certainly a tone and the atmosphere here is really captured, the eerie atmosphere. I like to think that this is located somewhere in Baguio. It really reminded me of the political thriller films that I've seen like Citizen Jake. It really feels fresh and unique. This is a slow burn type of mystery with just six episodes of 25 minutes each. It's such an easy breeze. Okay, my fellow Filipinos, ito na yung time na medyo magpipitch ako sa inyo. I know na medyo tired na tayo sa mga teleserye na ating napapanood sa prime time na masyadong mga cheesy, na recycled yung plot. And this is not that. I love this. I am so happy na nakagawa ang Pilipino ng ganitong series. Yung production values niya is parang talagang western series, di ba? Nothing about this is cheap. Plot is not at all kagaya ng mga teleserye na napapanood natin. So I want to start with that. Every Filipino should go mag-sign up tayo sa iWant TV. Hindi kami paid endorser ng iWant TV. We should support these kinds of series, yung mga gantong filmmaking para dumama yung ganto sa Pilipinas. Ang vibe nito ni Remind ako is about season 1 ng True Detective. If you're familiar with oh, True Detective, yeah. yung season 1 nun is, in my opinion, one of the greatest seasons of television ever made. And yung vibe nito is kind of ganun. Kahit yung visual imagery niya, talagang na-remind agad ako sa True Detective Season 1. And it's not to say na derivative itong series na to. It's not derivative at all. Medyo makikita mo yung mga plot twists coming. But the reason why I still love this, kasi it still keeps you guessing. Although makikita mo na pwedeng mangyayari to, you're still not entirely sure na mangyayari to. It keeps you guessing, hindi ito yung typical na Filipino Filipino crap na alam mo na yung mangyayari, alam mo na ganong kachisi, and it is very tense. Kevin, nag-a-agree ka ba sa akin doon? Napaka-tense ng maraming moments dito sa series na to, and it kept me on the edge of my seat. Yeah, I agree, definitely. You made comparison on the true detective, and but what's great about this series is that it doesn't feel like a rip-off of the Hollywood shows that we've seen. Uh, clearly, Bradley Yu and Dodo Dayo, their collaboration, there really put a certain style here that this is what would a western detective look like in the philippine setting also i really like that the setting of this series is on 1999 it really makes for gripping tv that they don't have the resources yet that they have to conduct the interviews it really builds the tension and the you know the dramatic heft of the whole arc because you can get easily bored if this is just going to be stretched throughout the episode but they really kept you hooked with its twists and turns some of it you might see coming but i think there are still plenty of surprises here especially like i didn't expect that this series would involve supernatural elements supernatural happenings which are left unanswered here that's actually the biggest surprise para sa akin i'm a cynical guy so i don't really believe in the supernatural akala ko all in all is wala mangyayaring supernatural dito i thought everything was a figment of their imagination and when that supernatural element was introduced, it kind of caught me off guard in a good way. 
na kaya hindi ako sa kanya na baduyan. I'm like that's a great direction for this to head into. And alam mo Kevin, yung isa ko pang na-appreciate dito is since Filipino series ito, akala ko this is a one-off. By the end of this, nagulat ako na they planted the seeds for a season 2. And I'm like Give me some more of this. I want gentong mga Filipino series. Again, everyone, I'm urging you, wala tayong ginagawa. Lahat tayo trapped ngayon sa ating kanya-kanya mga bahay. And if you have a stable internet, andali lang, talagang sobrang accessible nito. And I really like na wala siya masyadong advertisements. Hindi nakat yung tension for some moments sa akin. And yeah, that supernatural element, going back to that, I really like it. Hindi ako na corny sa kanya. They didn't really rely on a lot of exposition. Even in the beginning episodes of this series, you're not really submerged into the background of the characters. They're just really more of what's happening in their surroundings and then slowly by slowly you're going to build the characterizations for our main protagonist here. We have Sam Melby. He plays Sonny Cruz, a bored cop now looking for action. I can certainly see the grit in his performance. A lot of mystery is built around his character. I just wish that we were able to penetrate more on the facade of his character and in terms of his performance I can see that he is really committed and sometimes so I feel like his American twang gets in the way of his performance. The more likable character here is no doubt Yasi Pressman. She plays Alice Lagaak. In here, she's clearly undermined by her peers and she's fighting for the custody of her son. There's certainly a message of equality here that females should be put on an equal standard with men. The thing is, by the end of this series, I felt like my feeling of bewilderment slightly overshadows my feeling of amazement for the whole series. This is just six episodes of 25 minutes each, so roughly two and a half hour movie lang siya, right? And I just felt like sobrang bitin, sobrang bitin talaga. And I'm really excited how those ideas will work into a full circle. And I know they just working on a limited budget that they are not able to fulfill those elements in just one season alone. They need to know first what will be the reception of this series before they can push through. I 100% agree with all your points and especially hindi ito puno na exposition. Everything na nangyari by the end of this, there were seeds planted so when that eventual twist comes, hindi lahat ay coming out of left field, hindi lahat ay out of nowhere. And if I had to get into some of my issues, hindi lahat ng performance dito ay top notch. Pero yung performance dito ni Sam Milby and ni yeah, especially Yasi is very good. And again, going back to your previous point, I think yung pagka English ni Sam Milby kind of somehow gets in the way of his performance but didn't really bother me much. Yung isa pang issue ko, I guess, is sa Philippines, this is a very original thing. But if you're like us na marami nang napanood, you will still see na yung plot nito isn't entirely new. But this is a very welcome addition to Philippine television. The plot of this series is not groundbreaking but put into a Philippine context, it becomes groundbreaking. And I really pray that this is going to be really good because if the second season tops the first season, it has the coherence and the finesse that you needed in building this mystery thriller. If season 2 does that, then my love for season 1 will retroactively grow. But for now, I'm gonna give this series a 4 out of 5 stars. It really feels fresh and unique and I am really hoping for more of this to come. Para sa akin naman, I just want more of this. I agree. I hope magkaroon ng season 2 to. I hope this gets a following. Si Yasi naman is meron naman siyang fan base dito and same with Sam Milby. So, I hope word of mouth gets this out to everyone, lalo na ngayon. This has the advantage of being released while nasa quarantine period tayo. So I hope many Filipinos go and see this. It's really refreshing. I am also going to give this series 4 out of 5 stars. Okay guys, that wraps up our review for The Tapes, an I Want Original series. What do you feel while watching this? Are you as impressed as we are? 
let us know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And as always, we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys!